Hi guys, so I said I was going to do his one week postpartum yesterday, but um, something came up, so I am doing it now. So he is one week and one day old today. I can't believe how fast this first week has gone. I, I actually teared up a little bit yesterday, thinking, oh my god, if this first week has gone by this fast, imagine... You know, he's just gonna, he's gonna be as big as my daughter anytime soon, you know. You have to savour every little moment. So I will start off with Boston's update and then I will share a little update on myself and how um, I have found the first week. Um, so I did have a midwife appointment she's been coming every single day she skipped the weekend but so I saw her on Friday when he was one day shy of a week old and they weighed him so he started off when he was born at six pound 15 ounces and he did lose a little bit of weight not a lot just dropped down to six pound 14 ounces so not too bad um, but losing weight in that first week is fairly normal um, but he's been doing really really well his breastfeeding is amazing he's really really he latched properly right from the beginning um, with no troubles at all um, he did have quite a lot of mucus those first few days and he was because of that he was spitting up a lot um, that combined with the fact that I still breastfeed my daughter so I have got a large milk supply enough to feed two babies um, so I think as well he was probably taking in just a little too much because he can't control that obviously so he you know we did have a bit of trouble with him spitting up a lot at the beginning but um, that seems to have eased off now. He hasn't spat up in about two days. Um, yeah, he's just fitting into the family really, really well. He's an amazing sleeper so far. And fingers crossed it stays that way because my daughter was a terrible sleeper. And it really did take a toll on me. Um, but so far he seems to be able to sleep through noise which is really good because I've got two other children running around the house and they can be quite rowdy um, yeah he's just eat sleep poop at the moment um, he only cries when he's either got a dirty nappy or he's hungry but most of the time because he sleeps a lot I'm actually having to wake him up for feeds he's not really waking up himself yet um, he's feeding um, during the night he's feeding every four hours and during the day I'm waking him up every three for feeds just because he did lose I was feeding him just four hourly right from the beginning um, even during the day but after we established he lost a little bit of weight I have been feeding him every three hours during the day but, yeah, he's been really, really good, really, really good. He's completely passed out at the moment. He's due for a feed, though, really. Also, another thing is his umbilical cord dropped off really, really fast. Three days and it was off, and I did notice it had a terrible stink. I never noticed that with um, the last two but with this one I noticed that day before it dropped off it started to get this real nasty like rotting flesh kind of smell and it was quite offensive like every time I would um, change his clothes you'd get like a really good whiff of it and it was quite horrible so I was really pleased when that fell off um, and he is peeling head to toe and yeah, I guess that's just down to the fact his skin's been nicely moisturised in my womb and now he's hit the fresh air. Um, so I've been keeping that nice and moisturised as well. So that is all for his update this week. 
and then with me postpartum I have been doing all right um, I have struggled with the recovery a little bit more than I have with the previous two um, children um, and I'm not really sure what it's down to but I feel like it's down to the fact that I had a water birth with the other two and with this one um, I didn't and I don't know if the water might have helped you know keep everything nice down there but I feel like I feel pretty destroyed and I'm sorry if that's TMI but um, it's been you know it's the honest truth I feel like my insides could fall out almost um, I did get two grazes I didn't need stitches or anything like that um, so I have had the stinging when I've needed to go toilet um, and I don't know what it is but I have got a cyst down there um, like a labial cyst and I've got one with every pregnancy afterwards and I don't know if it's got something to do with my immune system or what but they're not very fun <laughs> um, and I've noticed the bleeding has well it did seem quite light to begin with and I thought oh this is cool you know I'm not going to bleed for very long um, but and it was really really mucusy and then two nights ago I had really bad stomach cramps and I felt really quite sore down there I felt the bruising again because I, I kind of started to feel like that had gone away but um, it had come back and then the next morning when I went to the toilet a big blood clot almost the size of a golf ball it was probably about that big um, came out into the toilet so I gather that's what the cramping and all that was for trying to like flush all the blood clots out um, so that was a bit of a shock to me um, I also slowed my healing process down a little bit the, one of the children left a plastic plate on the floor um, about four days ago and I didn't see it and I stepped on it and slid into the splits and I tell you that is the worst thing for trying to recover because I felt really really bruised the next day it did hit like I did seem to recover from it pretty fast but um, not you know it's bad enough when you're not recovering from childbirth let alone when you are um, so that wasn't fun and um, I did get a lot of stretch marks which I'm quite sad about um, it didn't look quite as bad while I was pregnant until afterwards and you know a lot of them are white but you know you can lie down and all your skin wrinkles up and it's quite ugly so I really hope that when I do lose the weight you know it looks fairly normal again the day after I had um, Boston I actually looked really pregnant it's taken a lot longer for my uterus to sort of shrink back um, because I noticed with the other two right from the beginning my stomach was really quite squishy and still even today um, it's still quite firm so my uterus is still quite high up there at the moment it hasn't shrunk down a lot yet but the day after I had Boston I still looked like I was at least 30 weeks pregnant I went to the supermarket to grab lunch and a lady actually said, oh, is he still not here yet? And I was like, actually, I had him yesterday. <laughs> um, so it has taken a while, although it has gone down a lot now. So I will show you that. Just put Boston down. It is softening out, but it it's still a lot firmer than I had expected. But you can see all my stretch marks that I got there. Those are all the new ones. Those are, these are all clear, so I don't think you'll see those. But I got those when I had the other two, and I think they kind of just spread out a little bit further.
So I did start off at, well at the end of the pregnancy I was 75 kgs and I weighed myself yesterday and I am down to 70. So I've got a long way to go still. I started off at 62 kgs at the start of this pregnancy so and even then that wasn't um you know usually I would be around about the 55 kg mark um so I was quite a bit heavier than my healthy weight size at the start of this pregnancy so I do have a lot of weight to lose but I'm going to take my time I have had problems with dieting in the past where I have gone way too far and it has really me messed with my head and got me quite down about it so I'm going to take the weight loss slowly this time round and I'm going to try not to push it at the moment I'm just going to you know I'm breastfeeding two children so that should help um, knock the weight loss down a little bit at least and I'm going to try and start eating a little bit healthier now that I'm not getting all those pregnancy cravings um, but I'm not going to start exercising for a while for a start I just I don't feel um, good enough down there I think to exercise but yeah I'm not going to rush it I I don't feel the need to as much and I think it's better for your mind not to push the weight loss on as well but that is all for our one week update and I will see you guys next week bye